Okay, so um, roughly I get this crazy looking graph. Um, we could put some more points on there, but hopefully that's enough to get a solution for it. So this time when we follow the slope field, um, it's asking for the point at 0, 0. So right here, this is our initial condition. And you kind of have, this is a little tougher because you have to sort of reason with yourself what's going to happen as we move along. And what you should think, the easiest way I think of for this question, when I ask myself, how is the slope changing? The farther I get from the origin, the steeper that graph starts to become. Because uh, the farther I go, um, those numbers there start to add up to larger slopes. So if I go in the, in the positive direction, so positive x, positive y, they keep getting larger, right? Adding them together, they're two positives. It keeps getting steeper. So it's going to look, oops, maybe I'll make it a little steeper than that. It's going to look roughly like this, going steeper and steeper, because x and y coordinates keep giving me a bigger slope. Now, the thing is, when I move in the other direction, okay, I'm going in positive uh, y but negative x so they're kind of balancing each other you know they're sort of playing this balancing act it's not going to be nearly as steep as the other side it's going to look like it's skewed so um that means when i draw it um it's even less than that i guess it's going to be something like this because you'll notice that as i move higher these slopes are getting smaller Right, it's a very large negative, smaller negative, smaller negative, zero. So it's actually the x and y are wrestling with each other here because one's positive and one's negative. So it's not as steep as the other side when you move through it. Okay. And um, so there's my picture in red. It says use your sketch to approximate f of 1. So if I look for f of 1, remember this is actually the graph for that particular solution this is the graph for the antiderivative. Even though we weren't able to find it algebraically, this picture is supposed to be f of x, big f of x, right, antiderivative. So the value at 1, according to my picture, it's right around here. And each one of these tick marks is a half. So I would say roughly we're looking at f of 1. It's approximately, according to my picture, um, I don't know, let's say 0 0.6. And again, depending on your application or what you're doing this for, the more accurate you want your reading, you know, the more points you're going to plot to draw your slope, or, you know, using a computer is also another reality. Okay? So the slope field drawing part is the easy. The difficult part is connecting the dots when you're asked to draw the initial condition. So, um, I think that's going to be it for today.